Carl just told me, you know that uh, thing, like sort of in, in the First World War, 1914 to 1918 or whenever it was, like there was that f famously that football match between the English and the Germans in no man's land on Christmas Day. Didn't it's happen. one of those beautiful things. Go on. No, it, apparently it didn't happen. I thought it did. I thought we did. We all, as a as a as a nation, as a continent, I think, believe that there was that football match between the English and the Germans. Christmas Day. Oh, the guns fell silent, and, and it's a beautiful, poignant football match that showed. Oh, even though there's this war, and we're not so different, and it shows the futility and senselessness of war. But you saying that? How do you? Why do you think that did not happen, Carl? Um. Well, a little bit of me says, you know, they're going into battle. Who decided to stack a football with them? Right. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Is that is that sort of thing that's niggling me a bit? Because you'd be carrying a lot of stuff, a lot of rifles, you know, I've got football you know, checklist, sort of right. Yeah, got the bullets, got the grenades. Hang on a minute, he's got the football. Yeah, you know, I just can't. Yeah, case there's a case there's a Christmas kick about as well. Oh, have you bought some fudge fingers? Have you bought some butter brandy? Yeah, brandy but You would you wouldn't bring a football, yeah. would you? You wouldn't assume that there's going to be a Christmas Day. Trist. I mean, we'll, we'll chuck it out there, you know, on the text. Uh, so, you yeah, can send a text these days. Yeah, send so. us a text if you know for a fact that's true. Were you there? 6404. Yeah. The one thing we can definitely conclude that that football match, which we queried, was it apocryphal? Did it actually happen? Or was it a real genuine event? We, I think we can conclude from the farm and from the text message we got that that football match did happen on Christmas Day 1915 or whenever it was supposed to be during the First World War. So that's a good thing, yeah. right? That's one thing we've learned. Um, Decimal calendars. Can versus I just say on the wall yeah, thing? Yeah, go right? on. Because once we've wrapped up the wall, we'll it's over. We're again. not going back. That's a, which is the way you should approach Definitely. war. Definitely. The war is one. It's it's over. It, move on. Yeah. Move on. But did they really do the thing with the white flag as well? Yeah, I think that's just a general thing that happens. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you. Why are you bringing that up now? Cause just, just because we've just killed wars. Just because we've just said like you know, I didn't think it would have happened because I, I don't know who would have took a football with them. Mm. But if I was in charge of an army, yeah. I wouldn't give them a white flag. Because it sets the wrong tone, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> Bring your white flags, I've got a very bad feeling about this battle. Yeah, I'll tell you, get on with it. Don't give them, you know, reasons to start waving a flag about and ending it. Don't even fight to the end. Pack a white flag. No, don't give it them. Is I'd it? rather give them the football. Right, like the football, at least that's good for morale, isn't it? Like, like um, okay lads, yeah, bring some bullets. Better take the white flag, I'm not feeling confident. They look ever so butch on them German boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I don't think, I thought I would use their pants or something, like a handkerchief. I, mean, I don't think they'd pack white oh, flags sorry. in the event that this war goes dreadful. I think you've got to approach war in a much more upbeat manner. Oh, right, that's what, what I'd say. Like, what else? There's what pants, else? the multi-purpose is them flags. They wouldn't have had flags. 